Hi. I am here today to give my opinion on Islam and hopefully raise some awareness about the legit reasons so many people have concerns about Islam and mass Muslim immigration with many immigrants having no desire or intent to integrate. Call me what you will, but I'm a believer in when in Rome. I've been accused of being a hateful person, only on the internet, of course. All because I am publicly anti-Islam. And it, at first it did bother me, a little, but I know what I am and what I'm not so I got over it pretty fast. I'm not a hateful person or a racist or a bigot. I am a realist though. And Islamic terror is very real. So is it hate I'm here for? No. I do not, <laughs> well, I do hate Islam with the heat of a thousand suns. But love and hate go hand in hand. When you have love in your heart, there is a natural instinct to hate that which would threaten what you love. Ultimately, there's, there has to be a major reform on the religion of Islam. And Muslims denounce Muhammad as a prophet. Or I will never be able to trust them. I will never recognize them as a religion. Islam to me is nothing more than a militant political movement. My parents taught me, do no harm, but take no shit. And I will never slacken or stop defending American culture from Islamic war on our culture. Thank you. I am a racist, hateful bigot. I hated watching people jump to their deaths on September 11th rather than being burnt alive. I hated watching people who threw a baby shower for their Muslim co-workers being carried out in body bags in San Bernardino. I hated watching the blood and gore from a pressure cooker bomb during the Boston Marathon. I hated seeing our Marines gunned down at a recruiting center in Chattanooga. I hated hearing how our soldiers ran for their lives being gunned down by their fellow Muslim soldier. I hated watching the news, seeing people being killed at a nightclub just for being gay. I hated reading about the five-year-old girl in Twin Falls, Idaho, being gang raped by three Muslim refugees. I hated hearing and watching the people of Paris scream as they were tortured and killed. I hated seeing the bombs go off and the maiming and killing of the people at the Belgium airport. I hated seeing the pictures of the dead little girl lying next to her doll in the streets of Nice. I hated watching as a Muslim nanny walked through the streets of Russia holding the head of a three-year-old girl she was hired to watch screaming Allah Akbar. I hated hearing about the killing of 11 people at Charlie Hebdo for simply drawing a picture of Mohammed. I hated hearing Allah Akbar as 13 were shot dead in a German mall. I hated the thought of a pregnant woman trying to protect her unborn baby as she was hacked to death by a man with a machete screaming Allah Akbar. I hated listening to a Muslim man covered in blood bragging about beheading a young British soldier while holding a bloody knife, butcher knife. I hated seeing the aftermath of a Turkish wedding that killed 50 people by a 12 year old boy strapped with bombs. I hated that our soldiers in Afghanistan had to listen to little boys being raped at night because they were told that's just part of Islamic culture. I hate that Islam kills gay people by the thousands just for being gay. I hate that Islam kills women just for being raped or anything their family deems as dishonor. I hate that Muslims worship a child molesting rapist serial killer. I hate that our soldiers come home in caskets 
covered in American flags, and yet they are still told Islam is not the problem. I hate watching Germany, France, and Sweden being raped and destroyed by Muslim integration. I hate knowing all our elected officials here in Wyoming stand against us and stand for Islam. Most of all, I hate being told Islam is a religion of peace after every Islamic attack. I hate, if hating all these things makes me a racist, hateful bigot, then sign me up.